Get money, yeah, yeah. Get money, yeah, yeah. Get money, yeah, yeah. Money, yeah, yeah. Like, wait, wait, uh, skate, uh, spin on my dick like a bait blade, uh. My dick get hit up like AK, uh. These voices back as they bases, uh. Tie up your legs while you tripping like, hey. Run up, get done, say this every day. Uh. What's up, you motherfuckers? It's your boys, man. It's the usual suspects, man. It's Hard by Cow with my co-host. Steven Judy. <laughs> and we over here, man. Um, this isn't really going to be like a podcast. It's almost just like a we're reporting live, man, from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram yeah. news. Uh, we got to report some, some tragic shit right now. A lot of y'all already know about it, so this won't really be you know, breaking news. Mm, actually, like yeah. a day late, actually, because it happened yesterday. Yeah. But... um. <clears throat> young rapper by the name of XXX Tentacion. I'm not really sure how to say his name. I always used to Tentacion. call him XXX Extension Cord. Yeah. But um, he got shot yeah. yesterday. The, uh, he passed away. He got killed yesterday, man. And got robbed. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't really have any tasteless jokes at the moment to throw in there, as you would expect from me, I know. I know you were probably waiting. <laughs> I was. If you knew me, then you were just waiting. You're like, ah, oh, man, I know he's going to say some fucked up shit. But I really don't have too too many fucked up things to say or any jokes. Um, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I, I didn't listen to his music that much. Like, I had um, I had his album on my phone. Um, like, there was, there was like a handful of songs. There was Less a handful. Than 10. And then but there his was some last songs album, I, I listened to every single song all the way through, and I really did fuck with this last album. Yeah. Like, I did get in my car sometimes and go to his album and play some music. I did too, but it was just probably like two or three songs. Probably oh, like new album? Probably two, yeah. The one with Mad Ox, shout out. And uh, the the one that was on radio and shit said that one was yeah. pretty cool. Still was bad. But um, wasn't that. Definitely wasn't that. Um, unfortunately, fortunately, I guess I'm not sure. Yeah. What would have been a lot of more people were saying it's fake. A lot of people were saying he's still alive. We're we're gonna we're gonna tell y'all, he's gone. He's yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lifeless, <laughs> soulless. His body is not moving no more. He's not. He's gonna have music come out, but it's gonna be old music that he recorded. Yeah. He's not making no more new music. Yeah. It sucks, but... So all the Facebook conspiracy theorists out there, man. <laughs> yeah. He is fucking dead, okay? He's gone. He's not coming back. It's not because that's how I want it. I guess that's how God wanted it. Um, people are sharing this video of going around of him talking about, yo, I'm not really dead yet. Yeah, that video is real, but that video is also old, old as, as fuck. fuck. <laughs> so... Yeah, that video yeah. was from when, wasn't it when he committed suicide? I'm not and, sure, I missed that whole wave. Yeah, see, I remember it, but I never saw that video, but I know that's what it was about, like, because yeah. he did it, and then he instantly posted a video talking about what yeah. it was for, but I, we never saw this video, yeah. like, and you can even, it says it was on his Instagram live, but you can go look at his Instagram yeah. live, and it was always it was something about for this weekend coming up. That's obviously yeah. not gonna happen anymore. But oh, it's the internet, yeah. you know, it's conspiracy theories left and right. People can never people talk about Tupac still alive, right? Elvis, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson still still all that shit. They, they're, <laughs> Whitney they're Houston all still dead. doing crack, but they're all dead. So. Yeah, man, he he passed away yesterday. I, I heard about it earlier in the day when I first heard about it. It was that he got shot, yeah. and he had no pulse. Reportedly, that he had yeah. no pulse. So I didn't really know. I was like, "Whoa, that's fucking crazy!" But for some reason, it didn't fully hit me. Like in my head, yeah. I was. And still, I say it still hasn't hit me. Oh no, it's hit me now. But I'm saying at the time, it was like it hit me. But I was like, ah, like I mean, that's just what they seen at the scene. Yeah. That's just probably some bullshit. He's probably gonna go to the hospital. And even then, it wasn't so much like I thought he couldn't die. I was just like, maybe he's going to go to the hospital. Maybe he will die. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Yeah. I was more worried about getting to sleep at the time, to be honest with you. So true, I wasn't, true, you know, 100% true, true. invested. But, um, yeah, man, I went to sleep. Woke up. Of course, I get on the internet, and I see this shit. And I'm so just I know, like. I know. I texted and, you. Yeah, you texted and me. I was like, bro, he might have really died. <laughs> yeah. So when I, I waited really till I got to work to really look at everything. Yeah. And when I did, man, it really hit me, and I was like, damn. Um, and it was weird because, especially, like, for me, like, I felt like I'm the type of person. I normally don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, I, I fucked with Anthony Bourdain, R.I.P., 
you know, I watched that show a lot more, and I ended up listening to uh, Extension Chords music, but, you know, when Anthony Bourdain died, it was like a third, it was like, not even, it was like 20 minutes, I was like, oh man, that's crazy, yeah. and I stopped thinking, uh, Kate Spade, I never had to design her shit yeah. anyway, but she killed herself, I didn't really, I didn't give a fuck, keep it real, I was like, oh, yeah. true, um, and with this one, I mean, obviously, I'm not heartbroken, I'm not, you know, I didn't cry, but it was, it was different, man. Something about, for me yeah. personally, something about them, it was just different. And it's weird because, again, I'd never, you never heard me walk around the crib, yo, I'm about to, da 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 Yeah. Like, I, I feel like, I for played me, songs here and there, but. Yeah. For me, like, because I know we'd always watch these videos of him doing dumb shit, like, yeah. beefing and shit. But I feel like it, it's more of a, like, for me, it's more like of a, like, damn, like, he didn't commit suicide. This wasn't yeah. his choice. Yeah. He got murked. Like, yeah. it's not God's plan. Yeah, like, so I'm just like, damn, like. Unless Drake killed him. True. So the and they are saying, saying that. The internet this, saying, hey, man, bro. that's fake news, man. Don't pin that on my guy, man. For real. <laughs> Unless it's just a stunt. Because he's dropping an album. Right. So they're trying to bring That's in. why there was no blood, and that's why the <laughs> windows weren't broke. No bullet holes. No, no nothing. This shit is fake. News, bro. So this is all for Drake's album. This must have been the. Fuck it must have been a collab album between them two. I know what it was, bro. bro. I know exactly what it fucking was. What? It was fucking that damn Hillary Clinton and those oh. goddamn Democrats bro. doing that fake news bullshit. I'm surprised this, this shit was probably all over CNN. This shit is fake. He's not dead. We just solved it right here on the podcast. We bro. just did it for you guys. It was Hillary. XXX. He's alive. However you say his name is not actually dead. This is all a stunt. He's in the basement. By those fucking snowflakes, liberals, and Hillary Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> uh, I was Hillary Clinton because she's so crooked. That's why I couldn't even talk. <laughs> Lock her up. Like, it's Build all her fault. This is yeah. all fake news. That is. Damn. Just, Just like these fucking migrant stunt. camps for kids and shit. That's got to be fake, fake too. Fuck yeah. And again, who else could we blame? Probably the Democrats. I don't know. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, back to reality. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that shit was crazy, <laughs> though. Like, a lot of people... Like, in a way, I mean, I guess I... I don't even want to say I was sad, but, like, maybe I was sad. I don't know. I don't, it's just a different It's hard to identify feeling, with yeah. it being sad. Like, I wasn't like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. But I was just like, whoa, like... Like... Look, I don't know. It was just... I guess it was seeing it. Seeing yeah. it the way we did. It was more than just, like, oh, we just heard some shit happen, and now we know he's dead. Like... Yeah. You know, we we seen the car, we seen the door, the butterfly, seen, nice car. We seen the butterfly doors up. We seen you know his, his life, body. his body. We seen people standing around with the cell phones, like oh this is crazy. Yeah. Oh oh. You like, see anybody call nine one one? I didn't, man. Yeah, but me I mean, apparently somebody did. But it still goes to show you how. Would you have, let me now? Let me ask you this. And I know you probably don't know CPR, but would you have, like pull them out the car and did CPR type shit? I mean, if I'm being a hundred percent one thou wow. If I'm there and, you know, I'm, I don't even know how I stumble upon it if I yeah. am there. You know, if, if I just see people stopping and shit and everyone's like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah, I hear people talking. They're like, yo, XX just got shot. You know, it's going to take me a second. I'm like, whoa, what, what the fuck? First of all, why? I didn't even know he was over here. <laughs> Two, I'm seeing him in his car. This is kind of, you know, crazy. You going to pull out your phone or you going to try and help him? Um, It depends. If no one else is there, like. If I if I'm just walking up and it's me and two other people and they're not doing anything, then yeah, I, I definitely would take it upon myself. I don't know yeah. what I would do. Like I'd probably I don't know, you know, open the door and be like, oh shit, fuck. Like I'm gonna call nine one one. I can't say I'm gonna rip his shirt off, pull my oh, off, yeah. you know, pull the bullet out with my fucking chopsticks that I have in my back pocket at all times or no shit like that. Definitely yeah. not doing CPR. He's gonna have to die on that one. I can't. And have they can't revealed the like where he got shot? I know it was below the neck in the, uh, in the like abdomen part, but I'm not exactly sure, honestly. But um, but they said, and they also said he, he was pronounced dead at the hospital. So I don't know, like, was he dead on the scene too, or what? You don't know that damn Obama. That's all I can say. That damn Obama. Obama did this. It's it's got to be his fault. That's all I know. Obama or Hillary Clinton? Which one? Both of them. Oh my god. Hey, both of them. Fuck it. Wow. But um, yeah, bro. It was it was. He was a young dude, man. At the end of the day, twenty. And I hate that I fucking and I'm an insensitive person most people oh, yeah. know that about me I always crack the jokes and shit and mm -hmm. the jokes will come eventually 
But oh yeah, I got on Twitter, man, and I just seen a lot of. Yo, I don't give a. F- I don't know why y'all give a fuck that he's dead. He used to, yeah, he beat a girl, and you know he went to jail for this, and he said things about gay people. I'm glad he's dead, none, and I'm just like, whoa. That yeah, that's crazy. Like that's a different level. Like yeah, he, he he probably he did those things. Okay, allegedly. Allegedly, you know. He never so been I've, I've seen some things of people saying that the girl was actually lying. We'll just say that she's not lying. You know, we I won't do any victim shaming on this podcast or whatever this is. And we'll say that she was telling the truth and he did a lot of those horrible things. Yeah. Those are horrible things. But just because you do horrible things, he, he's 20 now, now that he's passed. He died at 20. Yeah. When he did those things, what, what, how old was it, 16, 17, 18? Yeah. He was still a kid. Does that make it right? It doesn't. But just because he did those things at one point in his life doesn't mean for the rest of his life. He's a bad dude. That he was going to continue to do these things, you know. Now... And, like, have you seen in the last couple of months, have you seen him acting up? No, I've seen just him spreading positivity. Now, we can always say, because I thought about this, too, that he had court dates coming up. So, it could have been, I'm trying to save face. I'm trying. Now, we don't know if that's true. You know what I'm saying? But he was giving to charities. So, even if it wasn't true, he could be on some 6ix9ine shit. He could be out here still popping shit, talking shit, but he wasn't. He was spreading positivity and love and, you know, giving motivation to others and, you know, I, I didn't look up to him, you know, but I know there's a lot of kids out there, man, that he made music for a lot of those kids. A lot yeah. of kids who are going through shit, a lot of kids who feel confused or they might feel like misfits or, yeah. you know, depression, suicide, mm-hmm. anxiety, all those type of things. Uh, he really made music for those type of people, not just kids, but um, he really made music for those type of people, man. And I know that shit really fucked with them the most. If, if that's the guy you look to and that's the person you listen to during times of disparity and then he gets taken out like that, that probably really yeah, fucks some people and, up, man. And I know yesterday it was a Trippie Red's birthday and I know they were close, but then the beef with Drake. Yeah, well, we're not even on 14, 14, because I think he's still locked up for pistol whipping a bitch. He is? Yeah. How, so, he posted uh, on Instagram. Oh, maybe he's not. I don't know. But I know at one point he got locked up for pistol whipping a bitch, so he's on a whole different wave. <laughs> yeah. He's on some other shit that I don't even want. To be a part of the extension cords legacy right now, but uh, yeah, man. So for the people out there thinking it's all right to be like, man, fuck this guy, you know, he ain't shit. He beat a bitch. He did it. You know, beating a bitch isn't good. I wish he wouldn't have done it. Yeah, he, he shouldn't have. You know, tortured that young lady and all these. If he did these things, he he shouldn't have done it. But yeah. like I said, just because he did those things at one point in his life, doesn't mean that he was always gonna be on that. Yeah. That he was always, you know, people are still judging him for his past mm-hmm. and not off his current or his most recent body of work and the things yeah. he's been doing. He's been giving to charities. He's been he's been doing a lot of positive shit. You know, mm-hmm. nonetheless and. It just shows you how fucking desensitized True. us as a generation are. Yeah. And then on top of that, what was the dude's name? I don't want to say his name wrong. Uh, Jimmy Wapo. Am I saying Wapo. that wrong? Wapo. Wapo, Wapo, something like that. <laughs> was there Jimmy in there at least? Nah, I don't know. Did I, I make that up? I thought it was like Little Wapo. Wap skedaddle, Jimmy Wapo, <laughs> Wapo Popo. If you, you might know who I'm talking about. Another rapper, Gosh, Memphis? Yeah. Oh man, from he's from uh, I think Pittsburgh, Philly or Pittsburgh, Philly. Wow, Pittsburgh, we got it all fucked up. You know, and I was gonna throw out some more jokes, but he died too, so I'm I'm not gonna say any yeah. right now. But he was, he was up man. coming up. He was about to sound a big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. He he got gunned down, shot in Sad. the face through drive by. This is what I hear. I don't mm-hmm. know the facts that much, but and I I don't I never knew him at all, so I I can't give much of a backstory on that one. But fuck. Yeah. It's like a, a very good year for hip hop, but still tragic. All the yeah. Same. Still tragic. A lot of people are going. It's crazy. So. Uh, didn't listen to Little Peep, but he passed. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck uh, about Little Peep. Yeah. My yeah. condolences. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> RP. Fredo but, Santana. Um, Fredo, man, in the cut. That's a scary sight. Man down. You know what I'm saying? We, we, hey, we lost, we lost some real ones this year, man, so. I'm sure they won't listen to it And they probably don't give a fuck But you know R.I.P. to X You know I would say I'm gonna pray for his family But You know Saying it and doing this Two different things And I'll yeah. say it on here But when I stop recording I'll probably forget Cause I'm gonna go take a nap 
and I probably won't pray. But you you get yeah. you get what I'm trying to say. Like I'm praying for. I'm like it's a thought account. It's like a Facebook thing. Like I'm Facebook praying for his family. Yeah. That's what I call it. <laughs> Facebook praying and praying exactly aren't the same about. thing. It's yeah. like when you're sick and people go, "We're praying for you." Nine times out of ten, they're not, they're not really rude. going. Dear Heavenly Father, you know, I dear God, I just <laughs> ask that you uh, you put your hand over Stephen and you bless him, let him get through the sickness. And uh, dude, normally you're just typing it and going, "Ah, God read it." It's the same thing, pretty much. So, <laughs> I'm Facebook praying for him and his family and. Uh, his fans are going through it because I feel like in my head I can picture some of these fans really Merkin. going through it, like going through, like calling their friends up, crying, inviting them over, having like listening parties of his old music, crying, yeah. doing a lot of uh, like CO2 huffing and just, you know, yeah. getting through it, man. And yeah. I hope y'all get through it and, you know, you think that uh, you hear about those two guys? I did hear about that, and I, I'm I'm interested to see, because at first I was like, man, this looks a little Facebooky conspiracy type thing, but then I started seeing a couple things add up. But I didn't want to jump on the train yet, yeah. so I was like, man, I don't want to be looking that crazy guy, out yeah. here. And uh, they made themselves look a little too guilty for me when one of them posted a video saying, yeah, I didn't do it and shit. I was like, they t the tweets. I just shot XX. I seen that, but uh, the tweets could be fabricated. I don't know about that. Yeah. But, but the whole location thing by that restaurant that was eight minutes down the, the road, road with the food and the gun and then the mask and then the caption. <laughs> but yeah. one of them went on Instagram Live and said he wasn't doing. He didn't do it. Yeah, well, of course I would hope. Yeah. And then um, XX also said in the video one time he said if I die it was Drake. But I don't yeah. think it was Drake. Drake too busy. If he was gonna kill, go out of his way to get anyone killed, I think it'd be Pusha, Pusha T, T at this point. Pusha T or his baby mama, his yeah, or his baby mama, or True. the baby. Ooh, abortions. That's still crazy. Sykes too late for that. Yeah. But so yeah, I don't think it was uh, Mr. Champagne Poppy himself. Nah. Um, but whoever they are, man, I hope they get caught and you know justice is served for get them up off the streets, help his family out, help the fans out. Fuck, man. Tragic, crazy. tragic, yeah. man. Um, people trying to show him love now. Everybody was, oh, that weird suicide nigga. Now he's dead. Yeah. Now you got people. Well, I might sound like that guy a little bit too, but but I did play some of his music. Yeah. And, you know, so, again, I wasn't no super fan. I wasn't going to listen every day at all, but I never once looked at him and thought, yeah, I, I need him to get murdered. Yeah, I don't think And you anybody. probably shouldn't think that about yeah, anybody. anybody. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, there's a few people who I've thought, and like, nigga, fuck it. Boom gang. I've been wanting him to get <laughs> fucked up and clapped for a while. I'm not even gonna bullshit. Fatboy SSC, I've been waiting for him to get clapped the fuck up. Not even gonna Was lie. I? Diego? You know, and I said I didn't have any tasteless jokes about this, <laughs> but I got one before we end it. And um, all I gotta say is next time, or whoever killed. XXX, man. If y'all can do one one more little favor for me before y'all get caught by the police, is y'all go find Lil Diego and clap that nigga the fuck out oh and get him God. the fuck out of the game because I cannot stand that motherfucker. Then after you kill him, can you go to Russ's crib and drop his ass off too? I'd appreciate that. <laughs> hey, man, it's been your boy, Hard by Cal, Hard from the start. <laughs> it's been my co-host. Steven Judy, you know what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, man, we just checking in, man. R.I.P., man. R. Hey, y'all pray for each other. Y'all love each other, man. Positive vibes, positive uh, energy and hippie stuff. and <laughs> Drugs. Drugs, drugs, you heard it here yeah. first, man. Don't do drugs, kids, unless it's K2. We out this bitch. I eat breakfast and dinner.